this has been, uh, it's been quite a whirlwind since the last time I, I sat here. I know. You because, were very sweet to me. Yeah, well, I, I love you. You know you that. You babysitted me. You knew I was scared to death. No, but you hadn't been around for a while. You retired for 14 years. Yeah, I was scared nobody would show up. I, I mean, was scared to death. Well, first of all, that's crazy, but because uh, people love you, but you would think that you'd lose some audience or, I mean, 14 years is a long time. It is. And, you know, and, and everything moves on. I get it. And everything has its time. So uh, when we announced Chicago, the opening city, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So, about, And then what did happen? Well, <laughs> about four or five minutes into the on sale, you get the phone call. That's never good. Okay? It's like, oh, crap. I look at Miss Yearwood and I go, oh, no. So I pick it up, and uh, they're in the third or fourth show in the fourth or fifth minute. So we end up doing 11 nights. Uh, Look at that. Night. And uh, they were very sweet. And they've been sweet enough to show up like that in every city. It's been, it's been a wonderful ride. Yeah, I mean, well, you're an amazing entertainer. If anybody's seen Garth live, I mean, your music is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. Huh? You know what's great also is you keep your ticket prices low and you've never raised them. So your tickets are like $60, right? That's, that's very sweet. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, and still that's a lot of money to me. And you never come alone. So double it. And then, I mean, it's not easy to go see somebody you love. Mm -hmm. It's not. And you, you, you go to some of these places, parking is as much as a ticket is, you know? So, uh, no. just, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can speak on all of us sitting on stage and all of the crew guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for our lives and the fact you guys are showing up in this number and this attitude. I can do this the rest of my retiring days are behind me. I can do this till they throw me out, right? Yeah. Well, we're happy to hear that. Thank you. So. And it was real smart of you to bring your wife on the road. Trisha Yearwood is, is on, on tour with you. Honey, it's smart to bring that woman anywhere. Yeah, it's, yeah. Whew. Well, I, I don't know what it is. Every day it just gets better. Yeah. And I'm just lucky. Sweet woman. All right. So the new song that you're singing here today, and you told me during rehearsal that you've never sang it anywhere. It's the first time we're ever going to play it. On TV. That's great. So it's Baby Le uh, Let's Lay Down and Dance which uh, is an awkward way to dance, I think. <laughs> I tweeted you about it. Yes, you did. And uh, I was confused about the title, and some of your fans answered the, oh, what, what they thought it was. But you explained to me what lay down and dance means. I think it's... Um, seriously, think of... don't try to, oh, I no, think no. it's... No, I, I was seriously thinking of Snow Angels. No? <laughs> There's only one thing left. Right. right. Okay. So then my question to you is, uh, how often do you uh, lay down and dance? And, and what is your favorite room to lay down and That's dance in? That's very sweet. Any room with Miss Yearwood in it. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any sure. room. Any room. All right. Um, it's a great song. <laughs> Thank you. It's infectious. It's fun. It's a great song, and it's, uh, but it's, it, it really is, and it makes you uh, want to lay down and dance. Thank yeah. you. Makes you want to dance first. Yes. And then go lay down well, and dance. Well, you know. Yeah. You know how it is? It's yeah. Spoon and leaves to fork. And yeah. Now it's nice. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> you are. I, 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 would, I don't know if I'm safe to say the only artist, but you've never put your music out on Spotify or Pandora no. or, or Apple, or you've never let your music go places like that. And for the first time, you're doing that. Tell me why. Yeah, Amazon uh, came to us, and they, they seem to be the perfect scenario for it all. Uh, they sell music. They stream music. Uh, you can download there. You can do it all. And uh, just sweet people. And uh, it, it really was nice. And, and all the guys at Spotify, all the guys at Apple, they're all very, very sweet people. But uh, one does one thing, one does the other. And this company, Amazon, does it all. They really do.